Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today, we're going to talk about achieving goals, especially when you're working remotely. Are you ready? Let's get started. Yep, chances are you or those that you work with, some of those you work with, are remote. They're either not in the office all of the time or they're gone. They live somewhere entirely different from you and they're remote from you. And whether that's you as the remote person or whether that's you as the leader of remote people, what we're going to talk about today applies. Now, if you got no remote people in your situation, what I'm going to talk about still applies. It's just even more important when your folks are remote. Here are some things about people who are working remotely from others. Number one is they feel isolated. Number two is they don't they don't feel connected to the team. Number three, they, things are sometimes unclear to them and there's less chance, number four, there's less chance for sort of the spontaneous coffee pot kinds of interactions. And so for all of these reasons, goals are especially important. Now, we could have a whole conversation about why goals are important for us in an organization to help us be more focused, more productive, know what we're actually trying to achieve, and all of those other things. Those are absolutely true regardless. But when people are remote, there are some additional things that we can do to improve the chances that the goals that have been set have a better chance of being achieved. Number one, we want to make sure that those folks who are remote have a complete, clear picture of what those goals are and that they have ownership of them. Think about it this way. If you're the one out working on your own, sort of the Lone Ranger sort of role, and if you don't feel like that goal is really yours and you don't have an ownership of it, you're less likely to be motivated by it. So ownership is critically important. Clarity, super important. It's easy in many cases to lose focus when we're not with others around everyone all day long. So if we have those goals especially clearly focused, we have a better chance of staying connected to them and having them stay helping helping us stay more effective. Third, as a remote person, it's all the more important that we have a clear picture with our boss of how we're going to work together to reach them. And so what is my boss's role in terms of supporting me, encouraging me, and assisting me in reaching my goals? And if I'm the boss or the supervisor, leader, person, then am I clear with my remote employee on how they're going, how I'm going to help them be successful? So my point is when there is a remote situation, we've got to work extra hard to be clear about how people will be supported and what kind of help they can expect from their leader. And fourth, because uh, there isn't this chance for spontaneity and ongoing in conversation between people when we're not down the hall from each other, then we've got to have more time to check in on progress toward results. And I would suggest that we want to, st we started with ownership. I'm going to suggest we close with ownership and say that I want that remote employee to be responsible for reporting on their progress. It's their goal. It's their results. They should be the one reporting on progress. Too often, the leader in the home office is doing the reporting or checking on the stuff and filling uh, the other, filling people in the other way around. Unless there's some specific reason you can't. I would definitely have the remote person be the one who's responsible for the reporting on their progress. So there are four things to help you do this more effectively. So goals are important for all of us. Goals take on an even bigger role for us when we are remote from others or when we are leading those remote from others. And I hope that these ideas have been helpful. So let's close with today's tweet. When working remotely, clear goals and a plan for achieving them is even more important. Remember that as a leader. Now, when I'm leading remotely, the way I set and help people achieve goals is just one way that's different in that remote situation than if all my team were together. And so that's that idea that there are, for all of the things that are the same in leading people wherever they are, that there are nuances and differences. It is that idea that led us to co-found the Remote 
Leadership Institute. And you can learn all about what we're doing in the Remote Leadership Institute by going to the link on this page or hint remoteleadershipinstitute.com. And specifically, the foundational piece of what we've created for the Remote Leadership Institute is what, is what we call the Remote Leadership Certificate Series. And that is a series of remotely delivered workshops that are designed to help you as a remote leader become more effective, more confident, and more successful with your team that is remote, both with the technology that helps you be successful and with, with how to lead meetings and how to present successfully, plus other leadership skills like goal setting and goal achievement. So if you have, if that is your situation or others in your organization have that situation, I urge you to take a look at the Remote Leadership Institute and specifically the Remote Leadership Certificate Series. We look forward to seeing you there if you decide to join us. If you have questions, ask, ask them once you get there. Thanks so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Remarkable TV.